Oh, sorry, Cisco. All right, Brian, what's the problem? Ah, uh, Chef, we got a monitor down. A monitor down? We need yeah. all the monitors we can it's, get. It's not a good thing here. Well, maybe it's a... Uh, I don't know. I don't Let's know what to tell you, Chef. Follow this wire here. I don't believe this. Right out of the back of our theater. There's one of those connectors. This is nuts. Going across the street. Hey, fellas! Somebody come out here. This is not right. This isn't right. Look at that. It goes right up to an air conditioner. Right up to an air conditioner. Huh. See that thing? I can get that back. You live there? Yeah. What about it? Well, nothing. Uh, you look very nice there. I'm sorry. I thought it was an air conditioner. What are you trying to do? Steal our signal or something? We, you know, we're... No, I wasn't trying to steal your signal. As a matter of fact, I, I was watching Brady Mania. Brady Mania? Yeah. Oh. Wish you hadn't done that. I was just hooking it up to my Nielsen box. You have a... Listen, we're going to get a, a new set to you right away. Hey. Okay? Thanks a lot. I'm very sorry, Tom. Yeah. Hey, when's your premiere? I'll be sure to watch. From Hollywood, it's the Chevy Chase Show. Tonight, actor Tom Selleck. The bizarre world of magician comedian Rudy Kobe. News update. And Tom Scott and the Fox Trotters. Now, here he is. Circus freak. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very little. I want to start our fifth show by, number one, talking a little slower, which will serve two purposes. My viewers will be able to hear every golden syllable. And I won't have talked as much by the end of the show, which I think is a break for all of us. Also, I think you'll find that I'm going to be a lot quieter than other late-night hosts because I realize most of you are already tucked cozy away in your little beds <laughs> or perhaps just putting on your negligees and hopping in bed with a wife. And now a personal bit of news that I'm quite proud of. Richard Gere may be married to one of the highest-paid models in the world, but I and married to the new spokesperson for the Solid Waste Management Board. <laughs> Congratulations, honey. All of your...
your work for the environment is finally paying off. Now, can we get the upstairs toilet fixed? I was taken by surprise this week, and it's really true that Janie is now the spokesperson for the solid waste management board. I, I know what liquid waste is. I don't want to think a lot about solid waste, but I assume you can break it up with a log. Uh, we, we like to accommodate all kinds of minorities in our studio audience. Uh, that's something that we make sure we do. And in fact, we have a special seat, uh, the best seat in the house, as a matter of fact, reserved right down in front of the stage or for, one, for one often overlooked group. That's right. We always keep a seat right down in front for dangerous loners. <laughs> it's, it's easier to keep an eye on them that way. We've got a great show for you tonight. Actor Tom Selleck is with us and magician Rudy Goldie. And ready to see this guy. Of course, I'll be doing news update. But right now, say hello to Tom Scott and the band. Hi, guys. Great to see you. Thank you, Chevy. It's time once again for Ask Dr. Chase. If you suspect someone you love may have a problem with alcohol, watch for these signs. Slurs his speech. Stinks of liquor. Vomits at the table. Drives with the doors open. Wipes his face with your tie. Keeps ice in his pockets. Picks his nose with a fork. Licks the TV screen during beer commercials. Refers to antifreeze as that quick pick me up. Doesn't change the channel when Blossom comes on. Nails the toilet lid up to prevent head injuries. Has 20 different words to describe the dry heaves. Was surprised to learn that there is a tool called a screwdriver. Is starting to look more and more like Keith Richards. If someone you love exhibits these symptoms, please call the Park Center Hospital. We care. We always be Christian and all the new welfare. Hello, I, I am Dr. Chase, and I'm here to answer your questions concerning mental and physical health. Now, earlier, my nurse collected questions from our studio audience, which I will now answer free of charge. However, before we start, I'd like you to know that while I'm not a doctor per se, I did finish several semesters of pre-med. <laughs> All right. Our first question is from a Tony Crenshaw. Tony Crenshaw, are you in here? There you are, right there, Tony. The question is... And it's a good question, too. What is a C-section? The C-section is the cheap seats in the back, right back in there. <laughs> My next question comes from Jason Sawyer of Pleasanton, California, beautiful area. The question is, is saran wrap a suitable substitute when a condom is not available? <laughs> I would say yes, although I've found that a bologna sandwich lasts longer uh, when it's wrapped up in a condom. I, I don't know why that is. Now, here's a question from Esther Fanning from Hayward, California. Esther, are you here? Where are you, Esther? Oh, hi, Esther. And you're from Hayward. Well, uh, your question is... <laughs> what's the difference between anemia and thalassemia? Good question. One is a blood condition. And the, uh, the other, I believe, uh, was a backup singer for Diana Ross. Could be. <laughs> and here's a question from Elise Bogatz from Staten Island, New York. Staten Island, where are you? Elise, I'll answer your question right now. <laughs> Elise asks, when I'm in my car, sometimes I like to catcall pedestrians. Lately, this causes stress to my vocal cords. 
Are there any preventative measures I can take to ease the strain? Well, absolutely. Try opening the windows. <laughs> no question here. The next question is from Glenn De La Rosa. Glenn, where are you from? Where are you from, Glenn? My arm pound. The question is, what causes that pain in the head when drinking a Slurpee from seven, from Seven Eleven? It's a good question, Glenn. That uh, that pain usually comes from trying to understand the guy behind the counter. All right, and now. I'd like to answer some letters I've received. Uh, these are letters that come to me week in and week out, sometimes in the evening, sometimes in the morning. Depends on whether the post office... <laughs> the first letter comes to us from Sam in Columbus, Ohio, and his age is 13. Dear Dr. Chase, is sniffing glue bad? <laughs> yes, Sam, it's very bad. In fact, the other night, I was putting together a model airplane for my nep nephew. And I accidentally inhaled, in fact, I inhaled some just a little while ago, getting this ready. I accidentally inhaled some fumes, and, and look what I ended up with, building this model airplane, and I don't think it really worked out. You see, it's clear that this... All right. And, uh, but that was a good letter. Keep writing. Our other letter comes from Bill in Joliet, Illinois. He's age 19. Dear Dr. Chase, how can I remove a tattoo? Well, Bill, there are several ways. Uh, I actually have another patient who wants a tattoo removed, uh, but I'd like to say before he comes out that uh, I would suggest a light scraping of the epidermis uh, with a sharp instrument and work away at it that way. But uh, there is a, a, another patient here. Uh, Bob, you want to come out? Yeah, here he is. Hi, Dr. Chase. Hi, how are you, Bob? Good to see you. Uh, I understand that you have a tattoo, and we're, and we're going to show them how this can be removed uh, in, a, in, in more of a hurry, I guess, than the... Okay. Well, this is actually my ex-girlfriend in the heart, and I, I uh -huh. just wanted to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I could use this, I guess. I could yeah. just... Yeah. Stop! Yeah. <laughs> 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 you didn't... Well, then you just pull up? Yeah, I just, just pull, pull, it up. pull the skin up. Yeah. 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 That would work. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Uh, keep Thanks. working on that. Thanks, yeah. Dr. Chase. <laughs> Actually, either I'm dead or my watch has stopped. Uh, actually, he was a little too rough on himself. And that's all the time we have today. We hope we'll see you next time for Ask Dr. Chase. Coming up, Tom Selleck, News Update, and Rudy Kobe. So stay tuned. The Chevy Chase Show is brought to you by the people at Nike who encourage you to just do it.